In 2007, it was reported that the estimated 2,000 Papua New Guineans living within the Carteret Islands of the autonomous region of Bougainville could very well be the world's first climate change refugees. And as the years progress, this is easily becoming a reality. While many have launched community development plans to develop positive projects that will benefit the people of the Motlock Group of Islands, Hakatau Tai stands alone as the only team using rugby to drive the importance and awareness of global warming. We're playing for people. Uh, we have this, uh, you know, uh, the global warming thing. And uh, Hakatau Tai, especially, you know, um, it's like a, a team where we form to, you know, to spread the message to the people that uh, our island is, uh, you know, global, uh, affected by the uh, global warming. So basically that's, that's what we are playing for. We're playing for our people back at home. While spreading awareness on the effects of global warming, the concept of Hakatau Tai also provides an avenue for young men in the islands to showcase their talent, eventually becoming a potential feeder club into the national team. Touchcom, that was uh, that used to happen at Yunagi uh, Aval, and and then uh, a lot of our boys from Hakatau Tai, they didn't, they don't play the contact sports, so Kifa decided to. Uh, from the Hakatau Tai team and so he collected those, uh, he saw there was, uh, you know, potentials and for these boys, so he collected them and formed uh, Hakatau Tai. The team has been around since 2014 and will continue to feature in rugby tournaments nationwide as they strive to create and build masters within their communities. Hakatau Tai means um, the making of uh, of uh, it's like in, in, in our talk place Motlock, it's like uh, the fisherman. Uh, fisherman, when you when you when you're a fisherman, you are a, a tautai. So the making of uh, but this we use it in sports. So that's yeah the making of uh, a sportsman. Lorraine Genia, National NTV Sports.